Neo Dada was inspired by the non-art, non-movement of Dada. It was a rejection of emotionally charged paintings of abstract expressionalism, and it was a bridge towards the up-and-coming art movement of pop art. The term Neo Dada was first applied to the work of Robert Rauschenberg, Jasper Johns, Alan Caprow, and John Cage. However, Iris Marcel Duchamp is often attributed to being the pioneer of Neo Dada, despite avoidance of art alliances and the fact that he was not a Neo Dadaist. His contribution to the movement is instead formed with the theoretical aspect of his art and life. Duchamp refused to accept the standards of an established art system and is famous for his redefining of art and an anything goes attitude. This basis for art and its redefinition greatly influenced Rauschenberg. It gave him the inspiration for covering canvases with white paint. The art would alter according to the light and shadows of passing viewers and became a painting that would change through ambiance, unplanned situations, an audience participation. These paintings are less famous than what they inspired. Cage's experiment in ambient sound. His piece, 433, allows the sounds of the environment to become a new kind of music. This piece is 4 minutes and 33 seconds of silence. Neo Dada did not only consist of no art, it also valued the usage of unorthodox materials and mundane events. This is often contributed to the works of Robert Rauschenberg, who used junk off the street and found objects to create combines or hybrid painting sculptures. In his piece Bed, Rauschenberg combines found objects making his own quilt the canvas. This piece is hung on the wall like a traditional painting, but it is also an intimate self-portrait, consistent with the neo dadist assertion that painting relates to both art and life. The painter should try to act as a gap between the two. While Rauschenberg used junk to portray mundane events, John instead used his art to elevate things the mind already knows. We've all seen targets and flags, and the real-life quality of such a familiar object seen afresh caused people to query its status. The point of this painting sculpture collage was for you to question, was this a flag, painting of a flag, or a painted flag? John wants you to question this piece and wonder, is this art, and what is the definition of art? John's wanted to blur the boundaries between sculpture and painting and art and life into an object that stands in and of itself. Similar principles apply to neo-data performance art, showing theatrics as if it were an everyday event. They were called happenings, and were never scripted. While some happenings took place in galleries for audiences to participate in and watch, some were choreographed dances. The goals of these were to show that dance was a spiritual adventure for both the dancer and the observer. Merce Cunningham has choreographed many of these dances focusing on simultaneously combining and rejecting aspects of modern dance and classical ballet. Comparable to Cage's music of chance, Cunningham also allowed structured chaos to shape his choreography. Neodatists are defined by some key aspects. They simultaneously mocked and celebrated consumer culture. They encouraged viewers to disregard traditional aesthetic standards, and they wanted the viewer to dissect their work using critical thinking. While critics often called them presumptuous with simplistic messages, they are still nonetheless an important aspect of New York City culture. 